So here's our scenario. We only have one picture to work with, and we're trying to add a bit more interest than just the static picture itself. It's a nice picture, mind you, but this needs a bit of help. So let's look at that technique you can apply to all different scenarios for this. We're going to start off making a simple selection around her face, sort of focus on her, and then press Command or Control J, and that will duplicate just that selected area onto its own separate layer, as you see here. So then we simply add a drop shadow. And you can't see the gigantic layer style dialog box open. But all I'm really going to do is just, with my mouse, drag the shadow so it's a little more around the outside. It becomes almost like an outer glow. And in my layer style palette, I'm increasing the size so again, it acts a little more like an outer glow than it does a drop shadow. And this is one of the things, of course, you can experiment with. Then we go back to the background layer and we're going to make a selection around his face. Now the problem is going to be that right now it's overlapping her face as well, which is not going to work very well. So I'm going to go to the Transform Selection command. This allows me to rotate my selection, and then I can move it so basically I'm not actually cutting into her face at all. Press Enter, and at this point we go back to my background layer and do the same thing. Press Command or Control J to duplicate the background layer, and now I can simply drag my drop shadow from this layer onto my new layer, so it'll have the same drop shadow. Now for this effect to look good, I think what we want to do is put the man layer on top just so we don't have that kind of overlap thing happening. And we could leave it like that, but we're going to do one other thing. Go to our background layer and simply pop up a hue saturation adjustment layer and lower the saturation down. And because of the order in which I put these layers, of course, it's only lowering the saturation of the layers below them. You can put it right down completely so there's no color or just have a little bit. That's your choice. Again, one of the things you can experiment with. Click OK, and then we simply have to add a little bit of text, and we get a pretty interesting way to take a picture and really focus attention on something just by using a couple of layers, some layer effects, and a hue saturation adjustment layer. Try it out for yourself. Experiment. I think you'll like this effect. Hey, it's Dave Cross enjoying my summer here in Florida. Hope you enjoy your summer and keep enjoying these Photoshop tips. See you next time.